Nice run there toward the end where you, you split a couple guys and took off. Let's let's start there. And a nice positive kind of wrapping up the day, what you saw and, and how that felt to get out in the open field. Uh, you know, it, just to say that we don't really have, you know, everyone that's on the O-line. It feels nice to break a big run like that, knowing that the young guys are up front. Y'all, it was a day of ups and downs. I don't know if that's been the case for the whole week so far, but just early on, you could tell you, you see some flashes of some some really nice things, and then yes, a, a missed play here or there. For one of the older guys, what can you do to help try and iron some of that out and, and see some more consistency from the group? Uh, for one, I have to stay consistent throughout my leadership, which is a major role that I'm trying to learn how to play and be better at. That's really it. You're one of the guys that we know from a year ago, an established returning guy. For you this year compared to spring ball a year ago, what's the biggest difference, an area that you've been proud of your development in or just something you feel like you have a, a better grasp on or whatever the case may be? Uh, I wouldn't say my last year of spring. I'd say my last 10th grade season. Mm -hmm. I believe that I am a more confident runner. Like I'm starting to trying to finish my runs more and I just run into contact that's not necessary. Are there certain things for you outside of we mentioned obviously being consistent and, and being a leader but football wise your athleticism wise that are kind of focuses for you this offseason are there things that you've kind of prioritized and, and say this this is something that I know I really need to, to uh, hit and take a stride in? I need to get faster that's what I need to do. I need to get my 40 time down and try to get more explosive throughout my hips. Do you know where you're at right now about 40 time, or do you have a goal that you you know you're trying to get to? Oh uh, well, the goal is about four, six, four, five right now, and I feel like I can get more exposure. Now. I have one of the best trainers in the city as a coach, so you know that's a major advantage for me. For some of these younger guys coming up behind you in the backfield, what is your biggest advice to them as they start to get more reps and? and fill out y'all's group? Uh, I try to tell them to, you know, keep your head up. Like Some of them get discouraged when they don't make the big run or the block they're supposed to make. It's just all about the little thing that they have to run. You hearing from some schools at all a little bit for the uh, next level? Not yeah. yet. No, sir. Do you know places where you hope to get over the summer for camps or visits or, or anything? Uh, I mean, they have a southern, uh, they have a southern camp. Mm -hmm. I like to stay home, uh, southeastern and more other camps that coach put in place for us that we are the team. What do you hope those coaches get a chance to see from you at a camp scenario or get a chance to know about you as they ask coaches or see this interview or chat with you when, when you do stop by? Uh, no, I'm a bit of an undersized back, so I like to prioritize my play on being smart, fast, and disciplined.